Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm showing you how to use the Duo Crisp Instant Pot. So my name is Kristen Hills and every Sunday my sisters and I, we share an Instant Pot recipe with you. But for the last little bit, it's been just me because of the social distancing from the coronavirus. So hopefully we'll be starting to film together soon, but as of right now, you just get me. So if you are new to the Instant Pot and you don't have a Duo Crisp, you can check out my how to use an Instant Pot right up there. But if you're interested about the Duo Crisp, I am excited to show you how this works and what you can make in it. So special thanks to Instant Pot for sending this to me. I'm super excited to start cooking with it. Now I've only used my two different kinds of Instant Pots. I use the Duo and I use the Lux. So I get a lot of questions of why I haven't upgraded yet. It's because those pots work perfectly for me. So I didn't really see a reason to upgrade because I could show you things with just that. Now because the Duo Crisp is a little bit different, I wanted to show you everything you could make in this. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how to use this and then cook a delicious recipe for you. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. So first I'm just gonna walk you through everything that came in the box. All right, the first thing is the Instant Pot. So with this Instant Pot, it only comes in eight quart right now. I haven't heard of anything changing, but yep. Eight quart. Um, lots of similar buttons or familiar buttons that you'll see. You have a pressure cook, saute, slow cooker, and steam. Although I never use slow cook and steam. I use saute a little bit and then pressure cook, of course, most often, whether it's pressure cook or manual. Um, this next one is you might not have seen. So you have air fry, roast, bake, broil, and dehydrate. Then the only difference with one of these, um, Compared to my Lux and my Duo, when you set the timer, you just walk away. This one, you actually have to push start, and that's how it turns it on. But we'll make a recipe with this, and I'll show you step by step how to do it. But this is just the basics of what it looks like. All right, the next thing I love is the trivet. This is a little bit different. Um, so it has its double handle trivet, but because of the air fryer and the broiler, it also does something awesome. So it just kind of snaps into place. Let me get it. Snap, snap. There we go. Snaps into place and actually stands so it can make it closer to the, the Duo Crisp, the Crisp lid. I love it. All right, now it comes with your manuals. It teaches you how to use the Duo Crisp. Also teaches you just how to use it as an Instant Pot. And then of course you have your cooking time tablet. Now I cook things a little bit longer sometimes, especially my meat than what it says because I feel it's too, I, I feel it's not cooked all the way. So I love this for a lot of things, but for my meat, I like to cook <laughs> a little bit longer. All right, the other common thing that you all know if you have an Instant Pot is the lid. So this lid is a little bit different than the people who watch me. Um, so as you set it, you don't have to set it to sealing or venting. It will automatically do it for you. And then to release the pressure, you just push the button. All right, so those are the common things that usually come with an Instant Pot. Now it's time to see the fun stuff like the Duo Crisp and everything else that you can cook with that. All right, this next little guy comes in three parts. So this is like the broiler tray. Now you can use it right in there just to make things up higher or you don't have to. You can even put it right on there too. So depending on how much you have, if you just have a little bit, then you use this little guy. But if not, just throw everything in the bottom. All right, so when you use this little guy, you're going to put this right on top of it and put this right into your pot, or you can put that on too, and it just goes right into your pot. So you can cook with this in your Instant Pot. All right, moving on to the awesome air fryer lid. Now it does a little bit more than air frying and all. We'll talk about that. Okay, so just basics, this is the handle. Now under here is where it intakes the air, and then right here is the air vent. You just wanna make sure that none of these are ever covered because then it's just not gonna work very well. All right, let's flip this guy over. So this is where the air fryer comes in handy and I love that you don't have to plug in a separate lid. You actually, it has like this, I don't know, six pronged thing that will plug right into your Instant Pot 
on the top. And so that will be where the electricity comes from. So you'll just have, just use your normal pot. You put the lid right on and it will work perfectly. Now I'll warn you, this thing is pretty heavy, but you don't want to ever take it off and put it on your counter. That would not be a good thing. So they actually came up with like a little stand, a little base. And so when you're using it, you wanna flip it on this side. You can see it says Instant Pot there. So when you're using it, you can just put it right on top and rest it on there until it cools or until you're ready to use it again. And then to store this little guy, you take this base, you can flip it upside down and you'll see that there's a little lip right here. So the lip's gonna go right there and it will actually turn and close. So it will go with it. So it's the perfect base for when you store it and also the base when it is burning hot. All right, and the last little thing that's a little bit different is this little condensation catcher. So it's just gonna, look, I got it. It's just gonna go right there and it will catch anything that's wet, that's liquid, that really will come out. It's a perfect because it will catch it all and then you can just take it off, clean it with soap and water, make sure it's dry before you stick it back in. All right, if you guys are ready, let's move on to the chicken wings. All right, so first I'm just gonna put my air fryer thing right in the bottom of the Instapot. Now re remember, you gotta have that base when you are using the air fryer. Next I'm gonna add two and a half pounds of its chicken wings and like the drumsticks or chicken legs. And so I'm just literally dumping them from the bag into the Instant Pot from the freezer. So first I'm gonna pressure cook them a little bit before I air fry to make it go a lot faster. So I pulled it out, I'm adding about a cup of water, then I'm gonna put my chicken right back in. And that's all I'm gonna do right now. I'm not gonna add any salt and pepper because it's frozen and it just won't stick very well. So we're gonna close the lid and then this is a little bit different. You don't have to push anything because it automatically sets, but you do have to set your timer. So I'm going pressure cook and then I'm going high. I only pressure cook on high and then we're going down to about seven minutes. That's all these chicken legs need because I am going to finish cooking them and air frying them. Now, don't forget with this model, you need to push start in order for it to work. It will beep and then it'll say on and you're good to go. All right, it's kind of the same as the other ones. The L will appear and start counting up and then to vent it, you just push that little button. Now, once all the pressure's out, you can turn the lid and open it. Now, the lid is kind of heavy, heavier than what I'm used to, so just letting you know. All right, so now I'm gonna air fry these things to crisp them up because, let's be honest, I love my chicken wings nice and crispy. So go ahead and take out your chicken and then you need to empty your pot of water. We don't want any liquid in there as we are air frying. So once it's all dumped out and make sure you try and get as much out as you possibly can. Also with the water in your chicken, try and get out all the water before sticking it in. But I'm not going to extreme amounts and drying it all. I'm just dumping it out and putting it in. All right, so now it's time for the air fryer lid. So we're gonna take the little prongs and line it up right there. So it just fits perfectly. There's no twisting, it just sets right in. Now it's gonna be beeping at you saying lid, lid. So go ahead and push cancel and then you're gonna push the air fry button. Now it's set at 400 degrees, that's where I like it. And I'm just gonna air fry for about five to 10 minutes at a time. So I'm setting it for 10 and then pushing start. And then about every five minutes, even though I set it for 10, about every five minutes, I'm just gonna check on it and kind of mix it around a little bit. Now you can go 10, I just have so many in there that every five, I really need to switch it out. Now it's gonna be beeping at you, lid, lid. That's just telling you that the lid is off. So and the timer will still continue to go. So say the lid was off for about two minutes, the timer is still going. So you need to either up the time again or just let it beep and then reset. This time I'm just gonna push the timer, push the plus button and up the time for another four minutes or so. Now when the timer is all done, it will say end and it will shut it off. It won't stay warm like the Instant Pot so it will just turn off. Go ahead and pull your lid off again and right now my chicken is looking perfectly done. So I air fried it for an extra 15 minutes or so with the lid did come off a little bit just to check on it but it's nice and brown and just how I like it. 
Now it's time to add any seasoning or sauces you like. So I'm gonna make two different kinds. I'm gonna make buffalo wings and barbecue wings. So I'm gonna split up my wings and my drums into two separate bowls. Now I love all things buffalo wing sweet baby ray sauce. So that's what I'm adding as my buffalo wing sauce into one bowl and then my sweet baby ray sauce into the other one. This is the barbecue sauce. Now I, I just love sweet baby rays, but I would love to hear what kind of sauces you guys like. And then of course, when you're done, just mix it all around. Now you can put it in a plastic container and just shake it up really good, but all my containers are dirty right now. So we get glass bowls and we're just gonna mix them the best that I can. Now I like to serve them just like this. They are so hot right now that you can serve them right when you're done putting the sauce on. All right guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Now if you wanna learn how to use the Instant Pot, not the Duo Crisp, you can click on that link right there and hopefully that will help you get started. All right guys, thanks for joining me. Now don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, I would love if you'd subscribe just so you don't miss any of our videos. All right guys, hope you have a good week. I'll see you next Sunday, bye.